All right, we are going to customize your Yahoo Store Checkout Manager, but first, we're going into Store Editor. That's right, Store Editor. First, we need to grab the color codes that we need in order to match up your cart. So first, I'm grabbing the link color because this is our medium blue color. I'm opening up Notepad, and I'm going to type in light blue, medium blue, and dark blue. This way I have our colors, and you're going to see more of this in our second tutorial. But for now, grab three colors out of your variables. All right, medium, I'm pasting that text color. For the dark blue, I'm going to go grab the page border color that we used when we customized our Yahoo store. And for the light blue, I'm going to go find that color that we used for the search border color. All right, and that gives us our three different color combinations. Now we're ready to go and make changes to the Yahoo Store Checkout Manager. So we're going to go ahead and scroll back up to the top, click Update, click on Manager, and go into our Store Manager. Now we're going to click on Checkout Manager, Global Settings, and we're ready to start customizing our Yahoo Store Checkout page. There's a couple of decisions that we need to make. Are we going to have a multi-page or a single page? Well, I would suggest going with a single page. However, you have to test, test, test. Your customers, your people buying are not the same as Joe down the street. Each customer is different. You have to keep this in mind. Okay, here if you've got multiple pages you can do, do you want to show shipping and billing on different pages, separate pages? Do you want to have an order review page? Do you want the shopping cart to be on the top or the right? Well since we're going to change over to a single page, we're not only going to move our cart information from the right to the top, but we're going to hide the order review page. We are going to make this shopping cart super easy. It's one page, they fill it out, they send their order, it's done. We click save. Now we're clicking on the checkout wrapper and we're going to display a company image. Click browse and let's locate the file that we created for our logo. That was the logo we created using the one choice text kits that we have. Click browse, find the file, click upload. Perfect. If you offer PayPal as a checkout method, you'll go ahead and add that logo here as well. This checkout regions, top, side, footer, this is where you would put any HTML. If you're going to create, um, you know, if you have like a custom header that you've created and you've got those links, you'll input that HTML into that area and click on save. But since we have just a logo for this tutorial, that's all we're putting in. Next is the checkout settings. Ratings. Do we want to enable them or disable them and where do we want them to go to? Gift options gift message, link URLs. If you have diverted your privacy policy to another page, then you need to go ahead and fill out this information. Otherwise, just go ahead and keep it the same. If you're using the Got Customer email marketing, you can enable it to grab the email. Um, otherwise, just go ahead and click on Save. Now, we want to go ahead and view the changes so we can actually click on Save and Preview. What that will do is save our changes and allow us to preview what we have made changes to. All right, now we see we've got the logo on the very top. And instead of having multiple checkout pages like what the Yahoo Store comes up with, we just have one simple, easy to use checkout page. They fill out the information, they send their order, it's done, it's over with. Now, if you're selling expensive products, you may find that you need multiple pages or you need to have an order review page. Again, this is very different for each store. So test, 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 all right? Everything looks good as far as our preview is concerned, so we need to publish. Go into Store Manager, click on Publish Order Settings, and click on the Publish button. You're going to see on the left-hand side as it goes through and publishes each one of those areas and lets you know which stage of the publishing process that it is in. 
All right, now that our changes are done, here was our cart before, and here is our cart after. It makes a big difference, but there's still a lot more that we can do to increase conversion rates. Head over to our next tutorial, which will teach you how to customize those colors in your Yahoo shopping cart and increase those conversion rates even more.